nothing but ties and all. Don't let her pull you away, brother. Oh, yeah. Don't let her pull you away, man. Come on over here and get this truth, my brother. It's time for men to start taking charge of their household, like the Bible says. Not no 50-50 in the household, brother. When you look at the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 3, it says that there's an order. There's God, there's Jesus, there's man, there's woman, and there's children. There's no 50-50 in the kingdom. That's what the white man is telling everybody, to keep us in sin. But if we don't get it right, when the Most High come back, he's going to destroy us in the lake of fire. Now is the time, my brother, to get it right. Why we have a chance. That's why he gave us grace. He gave us grace so that we can be able to get it right before he come back. That's what the Bible is saying. Shout out one, my brother. We come out here to bring the word of God, the word of truth. We don't come out here to sugarcoat the Bible. We, 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 we come out here to bring the truth. That's what the Bible says. of the Lord. If you go out here and you want to have a sex change, the Bible say what? You shall not into, into, enter into the congregation of the Lord. Read that scripture again, brother. Read it from the top. Read that he that is wounded in the stone. He that is wounded in his stones, which that talking about your private part, your nuts, read. Or has his private member cut off. Or have your private member cut off. Shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord. Shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord. This is what the Bible say. We don't talk out our head. We don't talk about feelings and emotion. We go by what the Bible say. We don't go by but just because we feel a certain way. We give you the unadulterated word of God. You ain't mad with God. You mad with us. Because he said if the world hates you, you have to know that they hated me first. So when we come out here, we bring what God say, and we have people that hate us, 
That's Bible prophecy. They supposed to. Somebody got to hate. Somebody got to hate. And we see them right here every day. When we come out here to try to tell our people the truth, they hate us for it. That's what they do. Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 5. Read, brother. The woman shall not wear that which pertains unto a man. The woman shall not wear that which pertains to a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. But all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. But all that do so is an abomination unto the Lord thy God. Read about fornication. Read that part too. Read fornication. Don't come out here talking and talking and running your mouth. Get you a Bible. Get you a Bible and prove what the Bible says. Get it out right. Read about fornication. 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 Read about Most precious 
even like a jasper stone. Read, brother. Clear as crystal. Read. And had a wall great and high. Wait a minute. The Bible said that it had what? A wall great and high. Read. And had 12 gates. How many gates did the kingdom of heaven have? 12 gates. Read. And at the gates, 12 angels. Read, brother. And names written thereon. Uh huh. Right here, the 12 tribes. That's what the gates are talking about. Read. Which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. That's what the Bible said. That, that it ain't got no one gate. It got 12 gates for the 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. So you better know who you are. You ain't no black man. You ain't no Mexican man. If you a Mexican man, you from the tribe of Issachar. That's if right. you a black man, you from the tribe of Judah. You ain't no black man. You ain't no Mexican man. God don't call you that. God called you something totally different. Let our people know what's going on. Read, read. Give me the book of Romans chapter. Give me the book of Romans chapter one, chapter nine. Let's see who God came for and who all these things are for. Because the Bible says that it's not for everybody. Romans chapter nine. Let's start at verse three. Romans chapter nine, verse three. Read. Brother, who are Israelites? Who, wait a minute, start at verse 2. Alright. For I could wish that myself were a curse from Christ. I could wish myself that I was a curse from Christ. For my brethren, my kinsmen. For my who? Kinsmen. Uh huh. According to the flesh. They're talking over the Bible, don't talk, man. Who are Israelites? Who are what? Israelites. Read. To whom pertaineth. The adoption and the glory in the covenant. Uh huh, read on. And giving of the law. Read. And the service of God in, pro in the promises. Read, brother. Whose are the fathers and of whom as concerning the flesh Christ came. That's right, read on, brother. Who is over all? God bless forever. Uh -huh. Amen. See, he's talking about the Israelites. He ain't talking about nobody else. Why y'all letting these people tell y'all lies? Read, read six, brother. Not as though the word of God has taken none effect. Not as though the word of God has taken none effect. For they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. They are not all Israel that are of Israel because they are not keeping God's law, statutes, and commandments. They are full of sin. They are killing their brothers and their sisters, and they don't care. Read. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham are Just they. Just because you are from the seed of Abraham does not mean that you are going to be chosen. Read. Are they all children? But in, in Isaac shall thy seed be called. In, in who, brother? Isaac shall the seed be called. In Isaac. Just because you come from Abraham doesn't mean that you, that God chose you. He said, but in Isaac shall thy seed be called. Not nobody else. These 12 tribes right here. God did not come for everybody. Show me in the Bible where he came for everybody. Anybody. Anybody come over here and show me where God even loves everybody. Don't. Give me the book of, 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 of uh, John chapter 3 and verse 16. No, we know what the Bible says. Romans 9 and 8. You read, you got it, you read. You, I mean, you keep saying it, come on, keep Googling it. You got it on your phone, Google it. John, chapter 3, verse 16. I told her, I told her it's only talking about Israel. Read, it ain't talking about nobody else but Israel, sister. John chapter 3 verse 16. Read. For God so loved the world. So God so loved the world. But what world was God talking about? The word world is emphasized 16 different ways in the Bible. What world was God talking about when he said God so loved the world? That he gave his only begotten son. Read. That whosoever believeth in him shall not perish. Uh huh. But have everlasting life. But have everlasting life. Give me that in uh, the book of uh, Acts chapter 2, verse 21 and verse 22. Let's see what the Bible says about who it is that God, the, who, the whosoever in the Bible that God is speaking of. Because the whosoever, you got to know who the whosoever is. He ain't talking about everybody when he says something about the whosoever. Read what the whosoever say, my brother. 
Acts chapter 2, verse 21. Give me Joel chapter 2 and 32, Lily. And it shall come to pass. And it shall do what, brother? And it shall come to pass. And it shall come to pass. That whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord. And the Bible, and they close the Bible when they say that. They close the Bible. But continue reading, brother. Shall be saved. Shall be saved. Ye men of Israel. Ye men of who? Ye men of Israel. All together, ye men of who? Ye men of Israel. Ye men of Israel. That's who the whosoever is that the Bible is talking about. Ye men of Israel. It ain't talking about nobody else but you, the so called black man, the so called Mexican, the so called native Indian and Seminole Indian. That's who the Bible is talking about. It ain't talking about everybody else. If it was, it would be in there. But it's not because God only chose 12 tribes. And that's the children of Israel. Am I right, brother? That's right. That's what the Bible says. Don't come out here if you ain't got no Bible. Don't come out here talking out your head and, and, and your feelings and emotions. Come out what thus says the God of Yahweh and his son Yahweh shall. Come out here saying what the Bible is saying. Don't come out here talking about what the preacher said because the preacher ain't going to tell you nothing. But the same stuff every Sunday you go to church, you're going to pass that plate around three times, send you home, and you're going to come back next Sunday, and you're going to do it all over again, and he's not going to tell you who you are, how special you are to God. That's right. Joel chapter 2 verse 32 Read that brother And it shall come to pass And it shall do what? Come to pass It shall come to pass That whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord That whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord And then they close the Bible up Read Shall be delivered Shall be delivered For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem Israel, shall, read. shall be delivered read. Delivered That's right brother As the Lord has said and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. That's right. Sister, what tribe are you from? Yes, you are. What's your, what's your, what's your father? Is he a so-called black man? You from Jamaica? That's where you are right here, sister. Oh, I know that one. You from the tribe of Benjamin? I know that one. That's your tribe, then. You, that's your tribe, sister. Oh. See what I'm saying? And see... These are who God is talking to. Have you ever heard of the 12 tribes of Israel? Yeah. That's who God is talking about. All those people that's on there out of the 12 tribes. He created wait, 18. Wait, 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 wait. No, we don't. No, no, wait, sister. No. <laughs> we Israelites. Who are we? Israelites. Who are we? Israelites. Who we serve? Yahweh. That's who we serve. We serve Yahweh. We ain't no stinking Muslim. We ain't no stinking Africans. We ain't none of that. <laughs> because God, we ain't no stinking Africa. Africans and the Arab sold us to the white man for guns and wine. That's right. That's what happened. Africans sold us. African didn't sell it. African. African sold what? Israelites. That's what the Bible says. Because we don't know our history. Because we keep learning the white man history to keep us in a docile state of mind to keep us dumb and stupid. No white man. I mean, like this. One thing, my grandfather. This. You know, we, we, uh -huh. we study this, yeah. but I'm not into it like how my grandfather is into it. Uh, how is your grandfather in it? Yeah. That's how you need to be in it. So you need to be deep in this. You know why? Because this is your history book. This Bible is your history book. It's not nobody else's book. This is your history book. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And when we do those things that God requires of us, He will answer all our prayers. Am I right, brothers? That's right. He'll answer all your prayers if you do what He tells you to do. We cannot be contrary to what God will is and expect for God to work positively in our lives. Right. We have to make sure that we do what the Most High tells us to do. And when we start to doing that, He's going to come back and He's going to start hearing us again. That's, That's right. why the so-called black man, the so-called Mexican man, the so-called Native Indian man. That's why.